friends, what's up? My name is Joss from Scoobles Reads and today we are going to be doing an unboxing. I am not usually one for subscription boxes because they are usually higher than the retail price of the book, they aren't personalized and you run the risk of getting something that you already own. But then I found out about BookedBox which hand selects a book especially for you. I reached out to them saying that I would love to try their subscription box and they very kindly sent me a box to open on my channel. Okay, so here is the actual box, it says BookedBox on the side and then on the top there is a really cute design full of books. As a small disclaimer, I did open the box first just to figure out the semantics for you guys and I am very satisfied with what was sent to me, so I'm going to open it. <laughs> The first thing I noticed when I opened my box was that there was a personalized note, it says Welcome to Book to Box Joss, and then it has a list of what is inside the box, including the titles of the books. The process of them actually picking out your books is very extensive. You send them your Goodreads URL, and then they'll also send you a survey full of genres and different books, and they ask you what you like and what you don't like, and what you would like to see in your subscription box, and then you send that back to them and they will pick out a book for you. I would pay for something like this that's personalized over over something that's sent just to everyone. There are different levels of boxes that you can choose to receive that vary in cost based on what you would like to see in your box and also how many months you would like to prepay in advance. The choices being one, three, or six months. The bare bones box includes only one book that they hand select for you with no other goodies. The standard box includes one book, one literary or art magazine, and other assorted bookish things. And the beefy box includes two books and some assorted bookish things. So we're gonna start with the books that are in my box. The first book I am ecstatic about because I've been wanting to get my hands on something by this author for a long time. On the inside cover it was said that it was picked for me because of my love for escapist thrillers. It is called The Keeper of Lost Causes by Jesse Adler Olsen, which is a Nordic noir book and y'all know I love my Nordic noir. It is set in Copenhagen and our lead detective's name is Carl Merck. He unfortunately lost two of his colleagues, they were shot and killed, and he is the only homicide detective left in Department Q. He feels really guilty both about their deaths and the fact that he is the only detective so the cases are just piling up on his desk and he doesn't know how to work any faster. He's especially intrigued by the case of a missing liberal politician who is presumed dead but apparently she is not. Based on the personalization alone and not the book itself I would definitely give this a 5 out of 5. It was a super good pick for me and absolutely what I was looking for in my box. The second book that was picked out for me is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. It's about a girl named Tana who lives in a world where these cities exist and you can never leave and they are called cold towns and in these cities there are freaky monsters and possibly freaky humans. This one day Tana wakes up, she is surrounded by corpses and the only people left alive are herself, her ex-boyfriend and this mysterious guy who apparently has a big secret. I enjoyed Holly Black's writing in the quintessential why a holiday short story collection my true love gave to me so I'm really happy about this pick, not as much as the Nordic Noir but a good solid pick for me too. So we're gonna move on to the bookish goodies and there were a ton of them in my box. First we have some literary tattoos by lithographs, I don't know if these are in focus but one of them is a bookish quote and the other one is an open book with a quote in it. I tried to read both of them but they're backwards so I can't read them at all. Next we have some handmade book stickers and these are super exciting for me because I have an Erin Condren planner and they look like they could fit in a full box sticker so I can do a bookish spread. Next we have a couple of literary postcards. The the first one here is a quote from Langston Hughes. The second one is a quote from Voltaire. I really like these because I like my neutral colors. Next we have my favorite thing to get in the mail apart from books and that is bookmarks. The first one is just a booked box bookmark so on one side it just says book box and the other side also says book box but it has a different design. Then the second one it has, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got Egyptian hieroglyphics on it. So the second last thing that was in my box was like these little magnetic scrabble letters. Mine are all consonants, so they don't really spell anything. And then lastly, I did get two tea bags. One of them is Egyptian chamomile, and the other one is black Ceylon tea. I really love to drink tea when I'm reading, so I'm happy about these. 
Overall, I had a really good experience with BookBox. The strong appeal to me is that the book choices are personalized, so you are getting a surprise, but it is tailored to your preferences. Both books are definitely things that I've had my eye on before. In terms of the pick, I like the Adler Olsen more than the Holly Black, so I would give the personalization a 4.25 out of 5. The guy who runs it, Matt, was really kind, so responsive to my questions, and really, really fast at answering my emails, so I would definitely give the customer service a 5 out of 5. So that is it for this unboxing. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything else, please leave it down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!